I'm Randy Pitchford, the president of Gearbox Software. Hello, readers of CD Action. I'm happy to talk to you all about Borderlands. Borderlands is it's a role-playing shooter. Uh, we're calling it an RPS. It takes the visceral action of a shooting game like Halo or Call of Duty and on top it layers in uh, RPG elements like um, the ability to choose a character and to develop that character to become more powerful over time. Also to find loot and guns, tons of guns. There's millions of guns in Borderlands and you're always going to find more and more powerful things and more interesting things. Uh, so it's a game about, um, about discovery, about exploration, about growth, about choice, and, uh, and, uh, and, it's, and it's all wrapped up in a shooter game. Uh, it takes place on the world of Pandora, which is this hostile environment. It kind of feels like a science fiction Mad Max, right? And on this world, there's believed to be an ancient alien vault. Inside could be untold fortune. And, and your character is a fortune hunter, and you're on this planet looking for the vault. So you're kind of a cross between Mad Max and Indiana Jones. And if you're like Indiana Jones, the vault is your lost ark. And so you're on a quest to discover this vault and claim it for your own. And along the way, you'll get wrapped up in a lot of interesting adventures. You'll help the locals. You'll deal with some bandit leaders. All kinds of interesting problems that these guys are dealing with on this interesting planet of Pandora. And along the way, you'll become more skilled and more powerful and more capable. And you'll get tons of cool stuff. The original goal of, Pan of, of Borderlands, and, and the original goal of, that we wanted to, to do when we spent time on the planet of Pandora, was uh, to take um, a shooter, uh, a very visceral, uh, accessible game that, that you could just pick up and aim and shoot and move through this world. And we wanted to layer in the compulsion that we felt, we felt when we played games like Diablo. The idea that that's a cool sword, I want a better one. Or, wow, that's an interesting axe, I wonder if there's you know, something even more powerful. Okay, I've got this axe that has, that, that, that has fire around it. On the other hand, I've got this sword which I can swing faster. Hmm, which should I take? That's an interesting choice. We also wanted character classes and the ability to grow and get skills so that I'm getting more powerful. And this is a really interesting distinction because in almost every first person shooter you've ever played, the character at the end of the game is identical to the character at the beginning. The Master Chief has no new power, no, no new skill, no more health, no more ability to create damage at the end of the game than at the beginning. And we wanted to grow. We wanted to become more powerful. Um, the, another thing that was very important to us was to not just blend shooting and role playing, but to be able to create a world where I can play by myself or at any time I can invite friends to join my, my world and play with me or I can or take my character and join them. We wanted a persistent character, a character that I could own, that you could own, that you could take online, offline and keep developing over time. I'm very happy. Uh, we still have some work to do. Mm -hmm. We're a little bit, we're almost before beta right now, but we're getting very close and we should be shipping in October. And man, it's amazing. We developed this new technology, an artificial intelligence to create the weapons for us. Um, and we, we have a, millions of weapons. Um, we're actually going on quests in Borderlands and we're completing quests and we're getting experience and we're leveling up. And we have skill trees. I can become a berserker and I can, I can specialize my character to become more of a tank or more of a brawler where I do damage to my fists. I can uh, become a soldier and I can specialize in becoming an infantryman or specialize in becoming a medic where I can heal myself and my partners. Uh, or I can balance these things out. And, and uh, all these things, the fact that we've been able to create them and bring them together in a way that works, uh, it's, it's an achievement. And, uh, and, and I, we're having tremendous fun with it and I, I can't wait to launch it to see what the world thinks. Borderlands is a big risk because it's fresh, it's original, there's no game really like it. Yes, it, uh, it, it lets people play together online, yes, it's a shooter, and it has these role-playing game elements. Communicating that is a challenge, and, and communicating that with, with any new brand is a challenge. I've worked on a lot of uh, video games in my career, and of all the games I've ever worked on, I think the, my ability to predict the outcome with Borderlands uh, is, is the hardest I've ever had. Uh, the out possible outcomes are wider than I've ever known in any video game I've ever worked on. It could be that uh, people aren't able to discover the game 
uh, maybe because of marketing or, or, or word of mouth or whatever, and, and we don't do so well. It could be that it does it does well. Marketing works. Uh, people are talking about it, and their and their friends are excited about it, and, and it grows, and it becomes one of the most successful games. Either is possible, and anything in between. And it's very difficult for me to predict. But I'm I'm not afraid, and I'm glad we took the risk because I think there's a lot of the same in this industry. And right now it's, it's particularly tough because there's some big sequels out there, and everybody can understand the sequels and they trust them. But if 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 that's all we do, then there won't be anything new in the world. Mm -hmm. And so I hope, I hope we succeed. And I hope we succeed because we've not only done a good job, but because there's something original and fresh and that that's exciting for people. Because if there's success, then more developers will feel confident taking the risk to create original things and offer new and exciting things to the world. I think that's, that's important. Obviously, I agree with Cliffy that mm -hmm. uh, the future of shooters is RPGs. That we've been investing and building that for the past three years. So, um, I think I think Cliffy's brilliant and has made some great games. And I think uh, he's seeing the same thing that we're seeing. And I think the same thing that customers are seeing. That shooting is fun. Um, what if we added some of these other compelling uh, experiences that we love about other video games and, and blend that into shoot shooters? What what could happen then? Mm -hmm. And that's the question we asked when we started Borderlands, and that's what we've delivered. And so when we bring that to the world, we'll, we'll, we'll get to see. So many games I've dreamed about making when I was a kid. Um, I still There's still a lot of games I have to make. Borderlands is certainly one of them. Um, I started in my hobby and later in my career as a, an adventure game maker, as a role-playing game maker. And it was with uh, Wolfenstein 3D and Doom that I became super compelled to shooters. And that changed my world. I, I, I then became a shooter guy and I started developing shooters uh, when those games appeared. Um, uh, the idea of blending these two passions has been a long dream of mine, so, so that's true. But there's other dreams. Someday I'd love to make a fantasy game. Um, I'm not sure the time is right right now, but you know, it'd be nice to slay some dragons uh, in our way at some point. And uh, I also think that there's some room for a, a, a heist story, like a hardcore heist kind of experience. Not the sneaking around type, but... And I, I actually did a, a license for a, a film called Heat. I got the license to make it. I haven't had a chance to work on the game yet because we're so busy. We're doing so many things, but I hope someday to be able to do a, a really hardcore heist game. I think that would be really cool. And the guys at Gearbox, uh, you know, we have so many talented people with so many diverse interests. Um, I would expect a lot of interesting things and a wide range of things from us for years to come. CD action, yeah. So what do you what, what do you want me to say? The CD action. <laughs>